Let us now look at a map and find the direction of one place from the next using angular bearings. We'll start by finding the angular bearing of the school, which is located right here, from the police station. To do this, we want to make sure we put our north line in place. And then we want to create a line that connects the police station to the school. Now, I like to make this line um, fairly long and let it pass directly through, through the point for the sake of reading the protractor. Once we've done that, we can now move the protractor over to the map. Make sure that the zero on, on the protractor lines up with the north-south line that goes through the police station. We also want to make sure that the intersection on the protractor lines up with the police station. We can now read the angle. So the angle is about 49 degrees. The angular bearing is 49 degrees. Let's try another example. We're going to find the angular bearing of the TV relay station, which is located right there, from Sulphur Spring. To get started, we must put the north-south line in place. And then we must run a line from Sulphur Spring straight through the TV relay station. Now that we have the two lines, we have our angle. This is the angle that we must measure. Now there's two ways to do it. You can either, you can either measure this angle right here and subtract it from 360 degrees, or you can measure the larger angle going clockwise, which is what I would recommend that you do. So let's bring the protractor and line it up. What I wanna show you here is this middle point. There's this middle point right there on the protractor. That middle point must line up with this point right here where the two lines meet. So when you move the protractor over here, make sure that middle point is laying right on top of that point right there. Also, you want to make sure that the zero degrees is lying right in line with the north line. Now that we have that, what I like to do is put a, put a mark right by the other zero point because it represents the north-south line, and it allows me to extend the line from the middle straight through. And we know now that this first part of the angle is 180 degrees. So we're not done yet. We've only calculated the first part of the angle. That's 180 degrees. There's an additional part that we have to calculate, and that's from here to here. Once we figure out what that angle is, and we place it down there and we add it up. We'll bring the protractor back onto the map and ensure that the zero degrees is lined up with the north-south line. And we'll read the remaining portion of the angle that we have to calculate. This is zero, then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It's about midway between 60 degrees and 70 degrees. So that's 65 degrees. So we're looking at an additional 65 degrees added to the 180 degrees, which gives us 245 degrees. So that's the angular bearing of the TV relay station from Sulphur Spring. That's how you calculate the angular bearing on maps. For more help, visit thestudentshed.com or join our online BGCSE Geography course.